Good morning and welcome to the Public Infrastructure April 16, 2024 meeting. Uh, first thing is call to order. We've done that. Approval of the March 2027, 2024, March 27th um, minutes. Second. It's been moved and approved. All those in favor, raise your right hand. 3-0. Okay. Action items. A. 2024 KDOT Transportation Alternative Grants. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Brianna Friedman, Planning Director, and myself will be jointly presenting on this. City of Topeka is seeking approval of this committee and the governing body to be able to submit for the Transportation um, Alternatives Program, otherwise known as the TA Program. Uh, our application is going to be for $1.86 million, and this will allow us to do three of the projects that were included in the most recent Bikeways Phase 5 program that was approved by the MTPO. Uh, specifically, the projects that we're looking at are along Adams Street from 1st to 10th, uh, 4th Street from Washburn over to Kansas, and then 5th Street from Washburn to where it connects with 4th Street. And um, I will mention that normally these are an 80-20, the TA grants. However, we are eligible for having federal funding through the Highway Safety Improvement Program that potentially could pick up the remaining 20%. So we could get by with uh, effectively getting grant funding for all $1.86 million, and then we would only be on the hook for any, non, any cost that KDOT deemed to be non-participating. So with that, uh, gladly uh, stand for any questions that you have. How is that going to, with the um, viaduct and everything being closed down, like on first, is that going to affect it in any way? Well, keep in mind this, this process, the uh, dollar amounts that we have are really just high-level planning cost estimates. So if we're approved for these, the very first thing that we would do would be to engage a consultant to go out and do survey and get started on the design. So we would make sure to work around the PQV. I mean, really that area is like a war zone right now with all of the utility relocation right. projects. I see less of an impact once we get moving into the actual construction of that. But we will, of course, be mindful to not um, make things worse, right? To, to coordinate to the best that we can. So this is just basically the design process? Is this would saying. be, this truly is just to get governing body approval, which is necessary for us to submit the application for the TA grants. Okay. Any questions? No. Questions, David? No. If none, I'll take a motion from the floor. Motion to approve. Second. It's been moved and second. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Our next one is the Curtis flyoff. Yes, ma'am. That's that's mine as well. Uh, this is uh, seeking <laughs> approval of a project in excess of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the um, reconstruction of Curtis from the flyoff to Monroe Street. Uh, this is over by the grain elevator. We have worked very closely with the grain elevator in terms of designing, phasing this project so that we are not going to impact them during their very busy season of the year, which is the fall harvest season. In fact, this um, after harvest, I'm sorry, before harvest this year, we're going to do a mill and overlay on the fly off, uh, which was a project under $200,000, so we didn't have to come for you guys for approval on that. And then this project would start after harvest with the utility relocation, the, the water line replacement, and then um, in the spring, once batch plants open, we'll come in and start on the, on the road reconstruction, um, going from Curtis past the mission to where we get to where the rest of Curtis is, which will be reconstruction, but we will create a gravel service road for them so that they'll be able to get in during that. So with that, uh, two million of street work, 600,000 water line replacement and storm, about 200,000 gladly stand for any questions and would respectfully ask for your approval. Funding is a half cent sales tax? Yes, for the, for the street portion, because it's existing, it's existing road. Okay, any questions? 
No. It's been moved. Second. And second it. All those in favor, raise your right hand. 3 0. Thank you. Uh, next one is 29th Street, Adams to California. Yes, ma'am. That, that's mine as well. Uh, it's seeking approval of a project exceeding $250,000. Uh, total project cost is right at $1.7 million. That includes about $1.1 million for street, which is citywide half-cent sales tax. Uh, it's largely going to be a mill and overlay with full depth patching where necessary. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of water line work to the tune of about $45,000. Uh, two crossings uh, need to be replaced because they're older cast. And then about $470,000 of storm and $125,000 for some point repairs for sanitary. Uh, with that, I will uh, gladly stand for any questions and would ask your approval. Any questions? No question, just a comment. Uh, man, that's been really a requested project along there. So, boy, it's really appreciate it. Move to approve. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor, raise your right hand. 3 0. And I would agree that is a much needed project. Okay, firm. Yes, uh, Deputy Director Tryon will provide an update to the firm. Again, as a, as a reminder, uh, this is um, our effort to be transparent and to keep you guys up to speed because the firm was pulled out of CIP and funded through operating budget for this past year. Uh, but we do uh, take very seriously making sure that you guys are aware and we're completely transparent as to what we're spending the firm dollars on. Appreciate that. So what we have before you today is two additional upgrades. Uh, one is to our fire fleet facility. Um, so our current testing apparatus can only handle a 1,500 gallons per minute test. Uh, some of the equipment that we have now can go up to 2,000 gallons per minute. So we need to add an additional hose hookup, um, as well as um, make sure that we have adequate piping to the testing apparatus. Uh, the cost there will allow us to test those new fire trucks up to that 2,000 gallons per minute so they can stay certified. Uh, the second item is a stage lift that is at TPAC. This is the lift that allows them to set their stages uh, and move product from the loading do dock up onto the stage area. Unfortunately, we had some water infiltration into those hydraulic lines and we'll need to have them completely drained and refilled uh, in order to continue operation of that lift. How old is that lift? I do don't you know? know the exact age of it. I can find out. Okay. Any other questions? David? Okay. It's an expensive oil change. It sure is, but it's an expensive vehicle. All right. Nothing further from Public Works. Mr. Tryon, anything further? No. Anybody in the audience, anything further? City manager, anything further? Okay, just a second, sir. I, I, I do want to say this. I want to say I've been turning in a lot of stuff. And I've got another list. I think me and Braxton are becoming email buddies. Um, and I want to, again, thank you um, for your response, your quick response, and um, taking care of it. So, again, thank you. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, can you come to the microphone, please? Thank you. We usually don't have public comment, but if, if my colleagues don't, mind um just a second just a second if my colleagues don't mind if i let him speak because we usually don't okay 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 go ahead about the hydraulic lift at tpac a lot of those components in the hydraulic lift is indigenous to that building when you guys first was the, the municipal auditorium and including that lift. So that lift was there when you guys used to have car shows and had to get the cars up um, to have your car shows, that lift provided that. That um, And when, I think when you guys had the circus, circus here, um, it had big elephants on it as well. So, I mean, it do its job when it's working functionally, you know, properly. So um, I just want to tell you guys that that lift been there for a long time, okay. like 30 years, Thank that's you. all. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate that. But I would like to know if you can find that out, how long it's Certainly. Okay. There's nothing else? Anything else to come before this committee? We are adjourned. Thank you. Yeah.